Hi, Alex here from developer.com and welcome back to the series on extensions. And today we are going to take a look at a date extension. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, let me just show you what we are going to build out today. Uh, let's just change the example type to be a date. Go ahead and take a look at the first video in this playlist where I explain everything about this uh, starter project. So I'm just going to build and run this text uh, test. So let's just select, let's say, a new date here, maybe May and so on. So we can set these dates, these are actually a date, to a string. Okay, and that is what we are going to build out today. So let's just stop this and grab our starter project. And again, let's set the example type to be a date there. And let's take a look at our date view controller. And as you can see here, we have a date picker, our label, and all of this is set up nicely with the help of tiny constraints. And here we have a date changed. Now, what we want to do first is really get the date out of this sender. So again, the date changed is a target of our date picker when the value has changed. So let's just scroll all the way down and let's uh, grab our date here equals and it is a pretty straightforward sender dot date now we are going to use this in just a moment when we actually create our extension so go ahead and take a look at the extensions scroll a little bit down and we have a date extension with uh, the name as string but to, uh, currently it returns an empty string. Now we want to have all of uh, these formats. I believe these are all of the available formats. So uh, what we want to do is create a date formatter. So let's just do that. Let date formatter equals UI date. I believe it's not UI. It's only date, yeah, and with two T's there. Now let's add a date format for this date formatter. Date formatter and date format. And let's just choose, let's see, this one. Okay, let me just go there, paste it in there. And let's return our date formatter as a string. And let me just hit command there and rename this to date for matter in itself here. Sorry about that confusion because it needs to be a date. Okay, and now we can use this in our uh, date view controller. So it's pretty easy. Let me just select, uh, let's say, date, and that is of type date. So I can add a dot here and choose as string. Okay, and uh, that is that. So we need to add this to our labels dot text, and we should have that printed out into the label. Okay, let's build and run and see how all of this works. Okay, let's change the year. There we go. We have our date as a string. Now let's take a look and just out of curiosity of some other types like this one. Okay. Let's just build and run again and see the changes in action. Okay, there we go, it's January, and that is it. Really simple date formatting into strings with our extension. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thirdly, hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos coming up. And we have 
more videos in this extensions playlist so do hit that notification bell because in the next one we are going to take a look at a double extension what could that be well you have to find out in the next video